Lonnie, and today, as you can tell, I am doing a makeup tutorial, and it's going to be more of a glam makeup tutorial, something that you would wear to maybe a wedding, a birthday party, um, a special event, a school dance, something like that. I know that I would wear this for maybe an event or an award show that I was going to, or even like a dance competition. I feel like this is good dance competition makeup because I know some of you watching have to be dancers. So I would usually do like a dramatic eye and like more of a sharp contour and glowier highlight for competition just to really emphasize my face. If you'd like to see how I got this more of a glam look, keep on watching this video. Hey, okay, so since this is more of a glam look, I'm going to be doing more glam stuff. So. First, I'm going to be taking my Tinted Moisturizer by Laura Mercier, and I'm in the color Bisque. And I've, in my recent video, my makeup video, I did Dior, so now I'm using the Laura Mercier. I switch off between both. I really don't like a huge foundation, but this is nice. So I just squirt a ton on my wrist, or that's not my wrist, that's my hand. And then I'm going to be taking my Beauty Blender that I recently cleaned, but I just started using again, so I still look right. And then... You know, went over this last time, just applying it all over my face. I really do love this stuff. Cute little mirror in it, so that I can do my makeup, and it'll look good. And then I'm just gonna keep putting it all over. I always like to wear my hair up whenever I'm doing my makeup. I usually do my makeup before I do my hair, so that my hair is out of my face, and I can just really focus on making my face look good. I always do my hair second also because my hair falls out so easily, like curls and never stay in my hair. I can never keep my hair curled for more than like maybe 25 minutes, but that's what hairspray is for. Perfect. So now my foundation's on and I'm going to be taking my, I used this in my last video too, my Na Urban Decay Naked Skin Finish and I'm using the color Light Neutral, which is a little bit lighter than my skin tone so that I can really like highlight all these areas that need to be highlighted. And I'm going to be adding a lot this time because this is more of a glam look. So just out like this. <laughs> and then what I do to one side, I'm going to do the other. You're usually like not supposed to do this, but I do it anyways. I put it underneath my eyelashes, like really close. I do that because my like mascara always falls underneath my eyes, and I feel like it just makes my eyes brighter when I do that. Because I have like I have like natural bags. I think I I, I don't know. I feel like I have natural bags, even though they're not like bags and they're like purple and ugly and stuff. But they're like they're like natural. They're there. That's for sure. And then I'm just going to add some on my forehead. Looks great. And then on my eyelids, because I don't use primer, I just use concealer. I put it on my nose. I don't know why I do that, but I always do that. And then in just, I usually get lots of like redness and blemishes here-ish and here-ish. So I'm just covering those up. And I have one underneath my chin, so I'm just going to cover that up. Great. And now you look amazing, so, you know, you always just gotta blend. This part always hurts me. And I just pull it outwards. I don't pull it inwards, always out. Great. And then now I'm just gonna be taking my Laura Mercier Universal Powder stuff, and I'm just gonna put that underneath my eyes. Just take it, and I'm just gonna set my under eyes. I don't know if you can see the powder from on the camera, but it just goes everywhere.
And then next, I'm just going to be taking, I used this in my last video too, I'm be taking my Studio Fix MAC, and I'm in the color C5. Funny story about this stuff is we were stuck in the airport when I was in Canada. We were stuck in the airport for like six hours. You know how they have those little like pop-up Mac stores? Well, I was like, well, I'm bored, so I'm just going to go in there. And then I was like, hmm, this looks like nice powder. So I bought it. And it is nice powder, and I do recommend it. Great. Next, moving on to the eyebrows. So I'm just going to be taking this, and it's in the color. It's, oh, brow definer. I don't use the brow whiz. I use the brow definer. I like it a lot. It's kind of like the one I used to use. I used to use the Bobbi Brown one, and they're kind of similar, so I like it. And I'm in the color caramel, and I'm just going to be taking it and, you know, filling in those brows. I usually just do, like, underneath my, like, the bottom part of my brow, and then I just carry it all the way down, and then I finish off my little tail. So it's, like, nice and finished. And then I kind of just, like, brush it through every other part, but I don't do too much brow because I have pretty dark brows as it is. And now I'm just going to brush through them. And I've been doing upwards, so I brush all my little hairs up. And then I brush them down. I don't know why, but I feel like it gives them a better shape. So I brush them up. And then I just go down like that. Voila! Brows on fleek. There they are. Found the brows. Oh, I always do this. I forgot to do this in the beginning of the video. I just put chapstick on. Because I have really chapped lips, so I always put chapstick on. So by the time I do my lipstick at the end of the video, they're nice and moisturized and ready to put my Kylie Kid on. Just a little thing. I'm really upset because my champagne pop, like, broke into pieces. I'll try and show you, but it, like, broke into pieces. Like, literally, it's just broken so it's really sad so I need to go buy a new one because it's all broken to pieces and I'm really sad I really need a new one because I'm telling you champagne pop is everything and I tried to put alcohol in it because that's kind of, that's like a that's a beauty hack is you could put like rubbing alcohol into your makeup so say like something breaks if you put rubbing alcohol into it and then just let it like sit there it usually like is good but it broke too much, so like there was no saving. Like if you put alcohol into the thing and then you like press on it, it'll usually like work, but it didn't work for me this time. So guys, I'm so excited. So I always go to Sephora because I'm obsessed with makeup and I went there and there was the Tarte palette. It's like a Tarte contour palette. Anyways, it's the best thing in the entire world. And I got the palette and I am so excited. <laughs> so it's the Tarte Contour Palette. Wait, Tartist Contour Palette. And it is like absolutely beautiful. It's just gorgeous. It's just amazing and I'm so happy. And this mirror is so nice. I love this mirror. Anyways, it has like um these colors which I would like put underneath my eyes. Or like that one's kind of, yeah, these are like highlights and like, I don't know, underneath your eye stuff. And then this is a blush and then two contour shades our makeup artist on dance mom uses them and it's like the best thing in the world they got me so obsessed with it so now i obviously had to buy it and now i'm gonna use it so yay sorry for all the talking i'm just really love makeup so i'm gonna be using the color i'm guessing this is three because it's lighter so i'm gonna be using that color oh, this is the first time i've used this palette so i'm really excited i'm just gonna you know give me some cheekbones Then I'm going to just do it to the other side. I'm going to give myself a, self a little bit sharper of a contour since this is more glamier. And like if I was going on stage for competition with this look, you always have to have like make your bone, bone structure like very noticeable. So on stage, like your face looks great and you know, you're really performing for the audience. And then I'm just going to bronze up up here a tad bit. I don't know why. I always love to put a little bronzer on my nose so it looks like I'm sunburned because... Your girl never gets outside because she's always dancing. Just a little under here. 
great. And then I'm also going to be using this blush. It's called... I'm just not even going to try to pronounce this because I don't know how to pronounce it. So let's just... I'm just not. Anyways, I'm just going to put a little bit of blush on just to rose my cheeks up. Great. So now i got some nice cheeks going on. And then I'm going to attempt to use my champagne pop that's all broken. But I'm really just going to go for it. So I'm just going to like, there's lots, so I should be fine. And now I'm using Champagne Pop, and I'm just gonna glow, baby, glow. Champagne Pop is amazing and wonderful, and I really recommend it. It's awesome, so that's kind of like my face, I guess. My face is done. And now moving on to my eyeballs. These are beautiful eyeballs. So I really don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna start doing some eye makeup, and I'll see where it goes. Or maybe I'm gonna use I think I'm going to use colors from the Naked 3 palette, which is like, I, it's kind of old, so I'll use some from this palette, but I'm also going to use some from my Smashbox Full Exposure palette, so I'm just going to be using colors from both, because I love pa both of the palettes. So now I'm going to get started with my eyes, and first I'm just going to be taking from this Full Exposure palette, it's like the lightest shimmery color, and I'm just going to put that on my eyelids. Oh, this color is beautiful. It's really pretty. I'm using this tiny little brush because that's the only brush I can find right now. I normally wouldn't use this brush, but, you know, all I can find right now. I'm just going to put that on my lid. And I'm just going to do it to my other side. I'm also going to put that in my inner corner of my eyes just to like really highlight them. Great, and then next I'm gonna be taking another flat brush and I'm just gonna be adding, use from this palette, it's like this pinkish color, what's it called? Um, dusty, so I'm gonna be taking Dusty. And I'm just gonna add that on my eyelid too, but more like towards the outsides of my eye. I'm just going to do that to the other side. So I'm just going to be doing a very shimmery look on my eyeball, my eyeballs. And then now I'm just going to be taking this like this fluffy brush because fluffy brushes are the best. And I'm going to be taking the color Nooner. And I'm just going to put that in my crease. Just like that, so it gives me like a crease now. I'm just gonna do that to the other side. Something I always like to do, which is like, I know some people don't, but I like to raise my eyebrows so I can really like find my crease. Great, and then now I'm gonna be taking from this, the full exposure palette, and like the darkest, I like matte, like matte creases, but I like shiny like eyelids. That's what I usually do for competition at least, or like if I'm doing, going to a party or an event or something, that's what I usually like to do. And I'm going to be taking this dark matte color, and where is it? This like pointy-ish brush, and I'm just going to apply that on my outer crease corner area. By all means, I'm no makeup artist. I just do competition makeup every weekend. So I'm just kind of showing you what I like to do. Everybody has their own techniques. Like, everybody does makeup their own way. There's, like, no, honestly, there's, like, no right or wrong way to do makeup. It's just whatever makes you happy and whatever makes you like your makeup and make makes you look good. And I just usually do that, so it looks like that. I still have to blend it in, so... I'm just going to do that to the other side. Great. And now I'm just going to be taking that fluffy brush again. And I'm just going to blend it out because blending helps everything. So 
so awesome. I think I'm done with my eyes-ish. I still have to do liner, but that's like my eyeshadow. So up close and personal, here's my eyeshadow. Cool. And now I'm... <sighs> I hope the eyeliner gods are with me right now that I can nail these wings because let's be real. Every girl struggles with their wings. Unless you're like pro makeup artist. I know I do. I struggle with my wings like every single day. I like keep adding more liner then all of a sudden my wing is like all the way over here and I'm literally about to fly to Asia from America. So I hope that doesn't happen to me today. So everybody cross your fingers because it's time to go in with the liner. Oh, I forgot to mention what eyeliner I'm using. I'm using the Stila eyeliner. And pretty much all these products you can buy from Sephora. Alright, there's one wing, but now the next step is to match the wings. And let's just say, I hope this goes really well. Alright, they match up the best they're going to get. So, go me for not like having to totally re-redo my eyeliner but it's very hard to match your wings but I think I did it pretty well so everybody clap your hands for Kalani let's have a dance party because I actually nailed my wings for the first try okay let's be real whenever you do your makeup who doesn't like listen to music putting on my bronzer I'm like you needed me who doesn't do that because I know I do so comment down below if you do and I'm gonna be using the mascara from Mac it's called hot and naughty lashes and I really enjoy this mascara I've been using it since I was like nine so good stuff and I'm just gonna coat my lashes then I'm just gonna put some on my bottom lashes The other side. So I just put on my mascara. And the reason why I'm not going to put fake eyelashes on is because, number one, I hate fake eyelashes, like, so much. So thank you, every thank you, mother, for having long eyelashes because now I have long eyelashes and that makes me really happy because I really don't need to wear fake eyelashes. That's why I just put a lot of mascara on so it looks like I'm wearing fake eyelashes. That's pretty much it. All I really need to do is add some lipstick. So this is Kylie Lip Kit and I'm using the color Coco. So that's basically the whole look. So I hope you enjoyed. It's more of a glammy look extra dramatic eyes and I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did because I love makeup so much I know that there's a ton of you out there who like makeup probably just as much as I do and so I thought why not do another makeup tutorial comment down below if you want more makeup tutorials with maybe even like cooler looks because I just got this cool palette that has like a bunch of different like bright colors in it and I could do like cool makeup on my face and different characters I could try to do. I'm really down to trying it so just comment down below if you think I should and thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, see you next week. Happy TGIK. Love you guys. Thanks for watching.